I'm throwing away my gorilla pod. You heard me, I'm throwing it in the trash. You know why? Because I don't need it anymore. Not since I got my hands on this. So I guess it's time to say goodbye. I really think that after all these years, there might be a new contender for the best handheld tripod in the form of the PGY Tech Mantis Pod Pro. Right off the bat, and keep in mind, of course, this is just me sharing first impressions, this little thing is incredibly versatile. Folded up and used as just a vlogging handle, it's tiny, lightweight, and it feels great in my hands, where the Gorilla Pod always felt a little bulky and uncomfortable. It's got two fold-out legs that make up the bottom handle, and when pulled apart, it easily goes into tripod mode. And it's sturdy enough that I'm more than comfortable putting my full setup on it. And that's something I never felt comfortable about with old Joby over there. This thing is super solid, and it's actually made out of magnesium, so it's super light. It's so light, in fact, that I mistook this for plastic until I really took the time to look through all of the specs. And it can hold a lot of weight, too. The site says that the maximum load for this is 2.5 kilograms, which meant absolutely nothing to me until I did the conversion and figured out that that's five and a half pounds. To put that into perspective, my A7C is 1.125 pounds. The Canon 1DX Mark III, which is like the largest DSLR that you can get your hands on, is still only 3.175 pounds. And then if you take a look at the Sony FX9, which is a full blown cinema camera, that thing weighs 4.4 pounds, so you could still stick a mic on it and a couple of other things, and it still wouldn't max this thing out. That's pretty impressive. This little tripod's also solved one of my biggest beefs with the Sony ZV-1. The 24-70 lens just isn't quite as wide as I would like it to be, especially with my height. I have short arms. I can't hold this thing very far away from my face. I also don't really want to get one of those wide angle adapters because it's going to mean I'm going to have to stick a metal ring on the front permanently and it's going to make it harder to get in and out of my pocket. I sound like such a whiny baby, don't I? You can imagine then how excited I was when I found out about boomerang mode. Okay, it's not really called boomerang mode, it's called extended mode, but boomerang sounds so much cooler. It's only about another two, maybe three inches longer than my Joby 3K, which doesn't sound like it would make a ton of difference, but it actually does. Does it look as wide as my actual 17 to 28 lens? I don't know. You know what, close enough, right? And I'll tell you another thing, this combination right here is so much lighter than if I brought out my A7C with my 17 to 28 lens. I like this a lot. And that's not all. This thing has tons of little hidden surprises. See this? This is a cold shoe mount. You could put a light here, you could put your microphone here, but what's really cool is that it rotates. So if I want to show you what I'm looking at and talk with the camera facing away from myself, I absolutely can without being muffled just by rotating this around. But wait, there's more! Hidden underneath this leg is a built-in phone holder that just magically pops out of the bottom and folds out, clicking satisfyingly into place. It will also just click right into the quick lock plate. And did I mention that the quick lock plate and the ball head just all by themselves are really super cool? It's made out of aluminum, so it's also super light and super strong, and it has multiple turning axes that actually lock. Like when you tell them to lock, they stay locked for real. And you can also flip it like this and use it upside down, just like a top handle. And lastly, there's the hook. It looks kind of anticlimactic, honestly, but it allows this tripod to quite effectively hook onto a variety of surfaces. But here's the one place where the Joby actually has a leg up, which means if I have any plans on hanging my camera upside down, or putting it on a vertical pole, more likely, I might want to keep the Joby around. I mean, I could always use an extra tripod, right? So just to clarify, this is the Mantis Pod Pro. There's another option that you can pick that is simply the Mantis Pod, but it doesn't have the awesome ball head or the Arca Swiss compatible snap lock plate, so I definitely recommend shelling out the extra $50 so you can have the full amazing experience. This tripod also makes a fabulous addition to my on-the-go fanny pack setup. So if you haven't checked that out yet, I've got it linked up on screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.